What's good everybody? Chris here, Chris Goes Outdoors, coming at you again today with another DIY video. This one is going to be for a GoPro backpack mount. Got this one I've made previously here. We're gonna do something similar to another Osprey backpack that I own. This one I made a while back. It's all PVC pipe. It's got a little GoPro attachment on top. I'm gonna to show you how I intend to do it, walk you through the whole construction, and yeah, let's do it. Alright, so what we have here is the first one I made. This right here, it's all made from PVC pipe. It has a GoPro, I believe they call this the bicycle clamp, where I would attach the camera to. I have seen versions of this thing made where people use a screw through this little tip here as a tripod mount, but personally I just preferred this because it allowed me to move this part up and down and get different angles based on that. So we got two other little clamps here, little strips of PVC pipe. This is a pipe connector, so this is completely unscrewable. Righty tighty lefty loosey. All right, so you can see this is completely unscrewable. It would fit inside the pack too. So if I wasn't using it at the time, I could break it down, keep it smaller so it wasn't sticking out of my pack. I'm just gonna put this off to the side quick. And the way I constructed this one, I'll show you. I made it essentially a frame for the backpack. So there you can see the inside of the backpack. We have the PVC pipe running all along the sides. I'll take it out now and just then you can see better. All right, so this is what I constructed originally. It works well. We got one, two, three pieces of PVC pipe. We have a couple angles on each side. This is two little pieces of pipe, and this is a three-way angle. I don't know the, the technical names for all these little angle things. I think this is a 90 degree. I think this is called a T angle or something. And this is where the piece would screw on. There's a little piece of PVC pipe in there as well. That was the original one I had. Just uh, this thing looks right back on here. And this is very helpful because it will allow you to angle it whatever way you need it and then you can tighten it accordingly. All right, so that's what we have for now. That's for this pack. I do have a new pack. So this one I made originally fit. This is an Osprey Daylight Pack. Uh, it's a little too small for me. It, it's good for, you know, little day trips, I guess, but I use a bigger pack now. I have two bigger packs. The one I'm going to make them out for, I will show you momentarily. All right, and here we have it. This is the pack I intend on building one for today. This is the Osprey Stratos 36. You may notice a fairly big size difference, obviously. This one is a 36 liter. I have no idea what that one is. I think it's 15 or something like that. But the big difference between this is that this is a top-loading backpack, and that one is not. So my plan of attack, as you can see right here, that this bag comes with this type of zipper so that you can get to the inside of your pack contents easily. Stuff it all down into here, and then this you can open and it will allow you to, you know, reach the inside of your stuff without having to go through the top. My plan, let's say this nice smart water bottle here, is the mount. I'm going to make a mount that will hopefully fit directly down into here, and I wanna make some sort of maybe like a T that will hook down like the bottom of this area. So that way when I have all my stuff packed into here, the mount will go down in here, have a little bar or something down the bottom here to keep it stable with all the stuff, all of my belongings, you know, sleeping bag, coat, whatever, pushing up against it so it won't move around that way. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can do this thing. All right, everyone, just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the stuff I'm gonna use for this. On the left, the little blue thing there, that is a PVC cutting tool. I have various types of joints, multiple 90 degree. I have some 45 degree in the bottom here. The 90s are over there. We also have cross, or cross, whatever the hell you want to call it. That's like a T one. I am going to be using that one right there. I have about five feet of half inch. I stated earlier it might have been quarter. It's half inch PVC. I have some medium clear PVC cement, and I have some Valspar plastic spray paint, and this is 
black color just because I dig it. You don't actually need to spray paint it. I just happen to think it looks better, so that's why I do it. Let's uh, let's get cracking. All right, guys. So we're gonna start. What I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna fill the bag up, so it'll uh, it'll puffed out like that. So typically how I would normally have it packed. I'm gonna grab my sleeping bag. It's a big old down sleeping bag. Jam that in there. Or I can grab some coats. I have so many coats around. But I'm gonna fill it up quick. Let's find some. All right, so I got a blanket in here. What I'm gonna do now, I have my PVC pipe over here, super long in length, going off screen with this thing. I'm gonna put it in here and measure the distance from this to see just uh, just how long it will need to be to get to the bottom. I'm gonna take a look quick too. My pack has a bottom pocket, which is used to store, supposed to be used to store anyway, the sleeping bag. It is sewn in. Some of these, I'll spin this around quick. Some of these pockets on another bag I have, you're able to unlatch them so that the pocket just flaps down and then you can use this whole space in here to store whatever you want. This one, it's sewn in. So this is going to be the bottom. I can't make it longer, so this would be the bottom, if that makes any sense. All right, so I got that unzipped. Going to take the pipe. All right, so that is the bottom might be able to see on the GoPro. This is the bottom right here. And I want some extra length. So I'm gonna cut this off right here. Make a little mark there, I'll grab a marker too. I'm gonna cut right there. We'll take that out. I'm going to take my PVC cutters, I'll line that up on the, the red I got there. Stand up. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety. And we're through. Got that there. As you can see, it sticks out a little bit, which is good, because that's where I'm going to want this piece here. This is the little screw piece. It's going to connect the, uh, the top part to this part. So that's gonna go about there, just to give you an idea, you know, what I'm going for here. But on the bottom of this, I don't want it just like this type of connector. I wanna put something on the bottom. And what I'm thinking, this is just so when it's in there, it's it's less likely to move around. I'm going to go with this. And I wanna cut two, not, not too long, maybe like just a couple inches pieces of PVC for this. I'm gonna get that right now. So this is gonna go in here with the two little pieces. And those two little pieces, I'm hoping will help situate it inside the bag. All right, so we have this part cut. I'm gonna cut two pieces of PVC quick. I'm not gonna measure them out, I'm just going to rough cut it. There. Right, so this is the first one. I guess I can line them up, get at least kind of uh, accurate. All right, and then we have the second one. So they're pretty close in size. So these are gonna go in both ends here. Those are gonna go in like that. So what this will do, jam it in there. Booyah. And that will keep it from moving sideways in the bag. Just trying to keep it stable. Inside here, it'll be up against all my clothing, sleeping bag, food. It's only for added stability. So we'll take this out quick. So I'm gonna keep that as that. And remember, I had mentioned, I like to have the top part that sticks out disconnectable. So I use one of these little things right here. So this part will go on here. This part will go on here, and then you can screw and unscrew the top and bottom pieces. That way they're not on always. So this little piece right here is gonna go on the end, and I'm not pushing everything in fully on these. This is just a mock-up setup for the time being. When you push them in all the way, they're kind of hard to take out, and I just don't want to deal with that right now. So that's why I'm just kind of lightly placing them on just to get an idea. So for the next part, we're gonna build the top piece and I'm gonna show you quick how I had it on the original one. I pretty much am going to just duplicate the original one I had. All right, and we have this one here. So this one has 
the same, this is a slightly bigger one on this one, but the same piece here on the bottom. It's a very small piece of PVC right here, connected to a 45 degree joint, another longer piece right here, a PVC pipe connected to another 45 degree joint with another little PVC and the little cap on top. We are just gonna recreate that. I'm gonna take all this stuff off and we'll do that. So we just need a little piece that's probably about two inches roughly that I'm cutting. So you can see right there, I hope. Man logic, if it's two inches, it's probably realistically one. But real talk, I think it is two inches. All right, so we got that little piece. I'm just gonna remove this for now just cause it's dangling around. So this piece is going to go in here. We have a 45 degree angle joint right here. So this is gonna go on top of that. For the next part, I'm going to take the original one I had, just to get an idea of size. Right, so I'm gonna cut that one right about here. Get the same size as my other one. So I just marked it on here, measured it to the size of the original one, and we're gonna cut that. Lining it up with the red marker. And there we have that piece. This piece right here is going to go in here. So that one's in there. This one's not gonna stand up anymore because it's too heavy. I'm gonna lay that down. We're gonna take another 45 degree joint. This one is going to go on the end like so. All right, you can see there, attached. And we're gonna do one more piece up here. We'll take this thing, just measure it up there. Say from here to here. So it just lines up on the barcode of the pipe. So that's where I'm gonna cut. No need to mark it. Cutting it right about the barcode area. All right, so that piece is cut. So this one is gonna go on here like this. And that's it. The cap will go on here. One hint of advice, uh, I'm just gonna say this beforehand, spray painting. I would not spray paint the threading of this or the or this piece right here, I would leave them normal, just normal white. If you're even gonna spray paint it, like I said, you don't have to. Don't bother spray painting there, it's just gonna screw you up. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the system. I'll show you quick, and there we have it. It's all done. I'm going to just show you what the, uh, what the camera angle will look like once I have a GoPro attached to it. And then I'll take it out, I'll glue it all together, and we'll spray paint it and we'll be good to go. All right, and I just wanna give you a quick look. I have the bicycle adapter connected to the top piece right here. We'll go down, remember this is just a mock-up. Nothing is written in stone. We could change anything we wanted to at this point. We have the connector piece right there and I have it in the bag in the front part and that little T-bar piece is resting right against this part down here. So let's give a test run of the camera angles we can get with this thing. All right, so as you saw by the footage, the footage actually looks really great. The angle is awesome. I have two issues. Personally, I think that I made this pole a little too long. Where it comes out of the backpack, it sticks out about this far. The top of this is probably a good two feet above the backpack, which if you're in a wooded area and trees above you are an issue, you're gonna be hitting trees like crazy. It also, if I move around a lot, which you probably didn't see so much in the video, if I move around kind of wildly, the whole mount moves like this, and we don't really want that. So what I'm gonna to try to do, I'm going to cut this down just to maybe like this much, and I'm also going to put, I have one of these. So I'm gonna put this in the middle, I'm going to put, like I have on the bottom here, two pieces. 
So hopefully this will help stabilize it more while it's in my bag. So we'll break out the ever so trusty PVC chopper. Just made a mark where I want to cut it at. Might be able to see that little red right there. So we're just gonna line that up. All right, we got that. Pop that on. So that will be nice. Pop that piece on. That will be nice. Right. And there's just a little barcode there. Remember, it was very long, so I am going to cut it down. I just don't want something that long on my backpack personally. All right, so we got that shot down as well. So here's what we have at the moment. I'm gonna cut this now into two pieces and use that for each of these sides. So let's give that a shot. So those are good. Pop that in the sides. And that is where we have it at the moment. Gonna put this back on, Gonna pop it back in the bag. Let's give it one more shot. All right, so I'm hoping by that video, you guys can see that adding that cross piece did add a little bit more stability to the entire rig we have here. I also cut off a couple inches from the, the length of it. So you can see here, the little connector piece is much closer to the bag itself, which possibly also helps with the stability. Anyways, I like this design, I'm going with this. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take it all apart and glue it. I'll show you how I go about doing that right now. All right guys, so we're gonna start gluing this together. Now this stuff you should be using outdoors. I'm doing it indoors because I'm a psycho. It's medium clear PVC cement. This stuff stinks to the high heavens. I have this with me as well, just in case I get angry. Just kidding. I like to just hammer in the parts a little so I know that they're fitting tight. So we're gonna get going on this. We're just gonna take each piece I'll start with these guys down here. Gonna undo them. I'm gonna brush a little. You'll see once I open it, there's a brush inside. Gonna brush the inside of this. Pop that in there, hammer it into place. Hammer that into place as well, same thing. Let's do it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, smells good. You can see this stuff's very, uh, very tacky. Gonna take some of this. Brush that in here, as I mentioned. Make sure we get a nice thick coat because you don't want it sliding out later on. Put that in there. And I just like to give it some hits. That way I know it's in there and nice and tight. Do the same thing on this side. A couple hits. good to go. So that's all set right there. We're gonna put some in this piece right here. I'm gonna take this one out. A couple of hits.
You could see when I glued the inside of the pipe after it was all knocked in, pushed in. I went back and I glued around the outside. Some people might say, yeah, don't do that, you don't need to do it. I want to, just to, in hopes that it'll keep everything tighter. I had an issue on my first one that I made when I was on a mountain at, near the screw part, where it was getting, it was too tight. I think the temperature change actually like tightened it up, you know, made the stuff expand or something. I was trying to unscrew it and I cracked part of the pipe. I ended up needing to repair it when I got back down. Luckily I had tape, I could tape it, you know, together and it worked, but I believe doubling it up will help it. Your results may vary, you don't have to do it. It probably won't look as professional if you do it, because spray painting over this, you're gonna see where it spray paints over. But hey, if you wanna do it, do it. I did it. All right guys, hope the wind noise isn't too bad. I got you out here on my fire escape. <laughs> We are going to spray paint this thing up. So, see I got a little cardboard underneath, got it held up by a stick. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens here. Alright guys, we're just waiting now. It says cure time's about an hour for the paint on this. I'm going with one coat. You can do more. I think I only did one of my original one. It holds up alright, but I'm not looking for something gorgeous. I'm just looking for it to do its thing, and I just prefer the color black over white. Just going one coat. We got about an hour for it to dry. We may even put it to the test tonight. I got a new camera in. Uh, the little break I took. UPS kind of screwed me, said I wasn't home yesterday when I was, all day waiting for it, and I had to go pick it up at a Dropbox up the street. That's a new camera. So we may give the new backpack mount and the new camera a test run. All right, everyone, and here we have it. This is the finished product. We have it all put together, spray painted. Missed a little spot over there, I just noticed. I'll spray paint that back up real quick. But yeah, came up pretty good, no complaints. I'm going to get a test run of this separately from this video. I'm going to include in a video of the unboxing of the new camera I got. I'll spray paint it up. I'm not going to take another video of it once I spray paint it, so it's just missing a little spot right there. So yeah, that will do it. All in all, I hope this is helpful. If you make one, feel free to uh, comment, tell me how it went for you. This is Chris, Chris Goes Outdoors.